David here at merchantaccounts.ca. Today I'm going to talk about the components of an e-commerce transaction. When we work with some of our smaller clients, they're often very overwhelmed, especially in, if they're in the early stage of researching, you know, how to put together an e-commerce website. So what I do is I usually explain e-commerce is really just made of three things, three different components. The first component is a shopping cart. That's just software that runs on your website. It powers those little add to cart buttons that you see. So if I'm on a website that sells shoes or something like that, I'll click the add to cart button and I'll choose size 10 uh, color blue shoes. And it's the job of that shopping cart software to basically keep track of that stuff that I want as I surf through the site. So maybe I also buy a, a, a t-shirt and a blue baseball cap. And at some point I've added enough stuff to my cart and I'm ready to check out. So when I click the checkout button, the shopping cart software has a, has a couple jobs to do. First of all, it looks at the items in my cart to come together to a subtotal for the order. The same way that a cashier at a grocery store does is they're ringing your, your items through at the till. Uh, the shopping cart then has another job to do. It figures out, okay, how, where's Dave located? Oh, he's in Oakville, Ontario. Okay, well, shipping over there is $15. There's, so the shopping cart will have some ship, shipping logic to configure. Then the shopping cart has to figure out the tax. Oh, he's in Ontario, HST's 13% in Ontario. We better add 13% to this order. Once you have the subtotal, the tax and the shipping, the shopping cart's job is done. It knows how much I owe for this order. That's where component two of three, the payment gateway comes in. So once the shopping cart is done, it says, hey, payment gateway, wake up. I have a job for you here, Dave. Uh, wants to pay $130, can you take his credit card number and do your thing and process it for me? So behind the scenes, the payment gateway reaches out to Visa and MasterCard and onto my card issuing bank and it says, oh yeah, Dave's totally good. He has the $130 for this order. So it processes my card and in that moment, the last component, component three of three, uh, the merchant account kicks into play. So while, although people don't really think about it, every time you process a credit card transaction, money actually has to move somewhere. So it goes into a special type of bank account called a merchant account. And so the money would, would be taken off of my credit card and deposited into the merchant account instantly. And then from there, it's actually settled out from the merchant account into the regular business bank account the next day, or some merchants choose to do it once a week. Uh, but anyways, that's how it works. And just to round out the flow, because we're almost done, once the credit card is processed, we're not done yet. In the same way that the shopping cart said, hey, Gateway, can you talk to, uh, to Dave's bank and find out if he has the money? Well, once it's approved, the shopping cart sends that message in reverse. Hey, or sorry, the payment gateway sends that message in reverse. Hey, shopping cart, do you remember the order for, for Dave for a second ago? We approved it. So now you can know it's approved and you can send out your order notification email. So the shopping cart sends out the order notification to the merchant. It will send out a receipt to the shopper. And as an example, I used the, the example a second ago of an online clothing store. Well, maybe that clothing store has an inventory that it keeps track of. So once the shopping cart gets the order approved message back from the gateway, it can go, okay, well, it sold a pair of blue shoes size 10, so we'll take one of those out of the inventory. We have eight of those left in stock now and stuff like that. So shopping cart, payment gateway, merchant account are the three components of an e-commerce transaction. I don't wanna to go too in detail in this particular uh, video, but so that you know in general, it's, it's better to get approved for your merchant account before you select your shopping cart software, and there's a reason. When you want to get shopping cart software, you buy it or you pay for it, period. There's not really a lot, uh, there's no application process to it. But when you wanna get a merchant account, one, there's gonna be a rate attached to it. So there's a, there's a cost consideration. Two, you have to be approved for it because you're applying. And especially if you're a younger business, there's an actual chance you could be uh, declined for that application if you had bad credit, or if that particular processor just didn't have an appetite for the type of business that your, that your company operated. So long to short is in an ideal situation, you're gonna figure out which merchant account provider you wanna use and you'll say, okay, with your payment gateway, what are the shopping cart options? There's gonna be zillions of them. There's so many shopping carts out there, but what you want to get is a shopping cart that knows how to talk to the payment gateway that you want to use. So that's why that part of the, of the process is very important. 
So I hope this video was useful and demystified a little bit of e-commerce. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And if you have any ideas for other videos or topics that we can discuss, let us know. Thanks for watching.